so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install Minecraft Java on your Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to be using Raspberry Pi OS as my operating system. You probably could do this on most any Debian based operating system on your Raspberry Pi 4. I don't think this tutorial will work if you're using an Arch based distro like Manjaro. But we're going to be also installing Optifine on our system to be able to improve our gameplay experience. But before we get into the startup, I want to mention Nova Spirit Tech. So it this video is how to install and play your Minecraft Java on your Raspberry Pi. If you're interested in making a Minecraft Java server, check out Nova Spirit Tech. He's going to be releasing a Minecraft Java server tutorial on Friday. So whenever this video will probably come out on Thursday. So on Friday, check his channel out. I'll leave the link to the video in the description. And you'll be able to watch and configure your own Minecraft Java server on Raspberry Pi. So if you'd rather do that and play Minecraft on your powerful gaming PC, feel free to, to do that too. But this tutorial is how to install it on your Raspberry Pi and play it on your physical Raspberry Pi. So like I said, we're using Raspberry Pi OS as the operating system. I just flash it to my USB stick. You could use the SD card if you like, but I, I like USB booting. I get some better speeds. So to get started, we're actually going to use PyApps. PyApps makes this a lot easier and they have a whole little section to install Minecraft. So just Google PyApps or you can click the link down below in the description and go to this GitHub page. Scroll down right here to install PyApps. There's a little script right here. We're going to copy this script and we are going to open up our terminal. So you can control alt T or click the terminal icon. Click paste, paste it in your terminal. This will gather all the dependencies, everything needed to run PyApps on our system. It doesn't take that long either. So yeah, with this tutorial, you're going to get an average of 30 FPS in Minecraft. If you do lower some more settings, you can get up to 60 FPS. If you do make your screen resolution lower, change some settings, you can get some pretty high frame rates. But I mean, this isn't a pow powerful gaming machine with like an RTX 3090, obviously. It's a Raspberry Pi 4, so you have to lower your expectations of what kind of gameplay you're going to be getting. So PyApps is almost done, it's just downloading the required files, and then we will be ready to go. And here we go, it is almost done. So now PyApps is done, we can launch it by just clicking this icon right here. Just double clicking it and go execute. Execute and terminal will also work, any of these do function correctly. And we're going to go into the games folder, because Minecraft is a game. And there's actually a lot more games in here you can check out. There is Minecraft Bedrock, and there is also Pi Modded. You can check those ones out too, but I'm going to be going with Minecraft Java. And for this installation, you will need a Minecraft account, and you will need to have purchased Minecraft. Or if you don't purchase it, all you'll be able to play is the demo version. So you see I clicked it, and now it's grabbing everything needed. It's grabbing Java, it's grabbing all the little dependencies that is needed for this thing to work correctly. So you're going to see a little warning right here. It says you can't use a version higher than Minecraft 1.13. That's okay for me because I don't want to use an outdated version. So after that, you're going to just close out of the terminal and you're going to launch Minecraft from the application menu above. Once you're welcome with the Minecraft launch right here, you're going to see there's like a little welcome screen and we're going to have to put in our um, credentials. So our email address, I'm just going to blur this part out of the video. So once you've logged into Minecraft, you're going to be welcome with this screen. And before we go into gameplay, we're going to have to edit some more settings. So we're going to go right here, edit profile. And right here, our profile name, you can change that to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. These settings are all good. Use version. I'm actually going to choose 1.16.5. That's the version that I want because we're going to be installing Optifine with this version. You can go with older versions, but like the PyApps said, don't go older than 1.13. Or PyApps and this version won't support it. So our JVM arguments are correct right here, but... If you have a bigger Pi, like I have an 8GB Pi or a 4GB Pi, you might want to allocate a little bit more RAM for Minecraft for it to run a bit better. So right here it says XMX1G, so you can actually change that to 2G. I did try 3G on my 8GB Pi and Minecraft crashed. So 2G is probably the highest you want to go. So save profile, and before we install Optifine, we're actually going to have to click play so it downloads all the Minecraft files. So let this download everything needed, and then we'll go into installing Optifine. 
once the Minecraft Java launcher stops downloading the Minecraft files, it's going to open up Minecraft for you. Before we start playing, I actually want to install Optifine to improve our import performance. So to do that, we're actually going to go over here to Chromium and we're going to Google Optifine. So Optifine is this Java tool that actually helps improve your Minecraft performance. So we just type Optifine or you can click the link in the description to go exactly there. We're going to go to Downloads. And we're going to scroll down right here and we're going to go show all versions. If you use a different version than the latest version, you're going to have to look for that one. But I did use 1.16.5. So I'm going to click the mirror link right here. The mirror one is the one that I like. Click mirror and click the download button. Give it a second and it's going to download this jar file for you. And you're going to want to click keep because it is okay. There's no virus in it. So close this up once you've downloaded it. And open up your file manager, go over to downloads, and you're gonna find the Optifine file right here. Go to tools, open current folder and terminal. And then the Optifine file, it is kind of a long name, so I like to rename it to, so I don't have to type it out. I just name it Optifine. And then what we're gonna type in our terminal right here, we can pull it up to the middle, and we're actually just gonna type java-jar optifine.jar so you're going to type that command or you can copy it from the description you're going to hit enter and it's going to open up this installer i want to click install so it's going to install optifine to my minecraft folder you see right here and when, it doesn't take that long you can actually look at it in the terminal right here and my optifine is successfully installed click ok it closes up optifine for you and we are done we have installed optifine now so we can actually close out of both of these and we can go back and open up our launcher. So go to games, Minecraft launcher. And now we're going to have to select Optifine from our settings to make sure that it does use Optifine rather than the normal Minecraft. So give it a second. I mean, Minecraft does take a little bit to launch on Raspberry Pi OS, but that's just because it's a heavy program. So it says profile right here, it says Optifine. We don't want that. We're gonna go back to our original profile and we're gonna go edit profile. And down here, use version, click on that, scroll to the top, and right here we see release 1.16.5 Optifine. We wanna click that version. We're gonna click save profile and we're gonna go play. And this is gonna launch the game for me and we'll start playing Minecraft and I'll show you a few more tips to improve your importance. Performance. So once we are in the Minecraft gameplay place, we're actually going to go over to options to change some settings to improve the gameplay. So we're going to go over to video settings and graphics, I turned that to fast. Smooth lighting, I turned completely off. And brightness, I did moody. And then we go to animations, turn all of them off. That will definitely help you. And then we're going to go over to other and full screen, we're going to turn on. But then the mode, we're actually going to turn it to 720 by 480. So just bob it till we get to this place we want. We're gonna click done. Your screen's gonna go out for one second and then you'll be back. And we can go through these different settings like view bobbing, we can turn off. Shadows, we can turn off. Frame rate, we can make that about 60 because we're not gonna get much higher than that anyway. And then render distance, I like to turn down to like six. And then that's about it I like to do for now. Click done click done and click single player so we can go into the game and I have a world right here we're just gonna click that world and we're gonna go into our game the launching of the game does take a bit longer but do remember this is a low powered single board computer it's a Raspberry Pi 4 it's not some big gaming machine alrighty we are finally in the game now so let's just walk around and you see I mean after changing all those settings and installing Optifine it's seriously is responsive let's turn let's click F3 and let's see the FPS right here so we see right here we're getting about 24 FPS right now but I mean this is definitely playable I, I'm like not lying look here let's turn off the FPS because it's hard to play but I mean we can just go around here and this is I can look around once it loads up you have to give it a few minutes but once it really does low up this game is definitely playable on our raspberry pi 4 it might take a bit to launch but i mean it's acceptable so let's just go around here and play a bit of this to see how the performance actually turns out to be like let's hit this chicken let's get some dirt 
I mean, you do see some graphic problems because we turned down all those settings, but if you have them on, this game is not playable at all, especially the animations, and making this 720x480 really helps improve that performance. The Optifine also gave me a few more FPS, so that is probably something I'd recommend doing too. But yeah, this is how to install Minecraft Java on your Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys, and I hope you have fun playing Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi 4, and tell me how the experience went down below in the comments. And like I said before, if you want to create a Minecraft Java server on your Raspberry Pi 4, check out Nova Spirit Tech's YouTube channel, because he'll have a guide out really soon, and it's going to be pretty awesome. So check that out, and yeah, so thanks for watching.